Israel imposed a total siege on the Gaza Strip on Monday and cut off utility supplies as it kept bombing targets in the crowded Palestinian enclave in response to the Hamas surprise assault it has likened to the 9-11 attacks. Reeling from the Islamist group's unprecedented ground, air and sea attacks, Israel has counted over 800 dead and launched a withering barrage of strikes on Gaza that have killed 560 people there. The skies over Gaza were blackened by plumes of smoke from deafening explosions as Hamas kept launching rockets as far as Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, where missile defense systems fired and air raid sirens blared. Hamas, whose militants surged into Israeli towns on Saturday, spraying gunfire at civilians and dragging off about 100 hostages, Monday claimed that Israeli airstrikes had killed four of the captives. The Israeli military said it had called up an unprecedented 300,000 reservists for its Swords of Iron campaign and was imposing a total blockade of the Gaza Strip, signs it could be planning a ground assault there to defeat Hamas. In a further sign of Israel's rapid shift onto a war footing, a cabinet member from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party said it could set up a national unity government joined by opposition leaders within hours. Israeli truck convoys were seen moving tanks to the south near the Gaza border.